How is everybody back here with another movie review? We're going to be doing the first Omen on this one right here. Stick around and I'll tell you, I'll let you know. Do you need a big screen it? Do you need to stream it? Or do you need to ditch it? Find out right after this. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boys. Like I said at the beginning, we're going to be talking about the first Omen. It is a 2024, obviously, American super horror, supernatural horror film directed by Arkasha Stevenson, who co-wrote the screenplay with uh, Tim Smith and Kim, Keith Thomas. I mean, I just have so much trouble with names sometimes. From a story by Ben Jacoby. Uh, obviously, this is a prequel. It's called The First Omen for a reason, because it's like the prequel to the very first Omen, the movie that came out in 1976. Uh, some of the stars is uh, Nell Free. Uh, Topic uh, Barron and Sonia Braga and Raph uh, Innocent. Hopefully I did got those names right. But like I said, man, names are terrible sometimes. But yes, obviously it is a prequel to the first Omen. And it's a movie about like, you know, the Antichrist being born. Now, this movie actually sets up the Antichrist being born. Where the first one, you may have got a little bit of that, but like mostly it was just about the kid already being like six or seven years old or maybe just a little bit older going around and terrorizing uh, people and everything else. And you don't get that, but it is interesting uh, because you do get the story leading up to all that. Like, how did this come about? Like, what uh, preluded that and everything else? Sometimes I'm going to be honest with you, the way these companies have been doing these like uh, prequels, the way these companies has been just trying to rehash stories and stuff. A lot of times they don't respect the IP. They don't respect the property. And that's one of the things that I think gets people in trouble most of the time. The one thing I will say about this, the number one thing I'll say about this movie is the fact that it is very respectable to the IP. Like uh, I give the writer, the director, everybody there, uh, many many props because like i said that doesn't happen a lot of times in a lot of your these ips these days it's just like oh well let's just throw some stuff at a wall let's make up something just because this is something we can use and we own the ip and they just don't respect it and uh that's a big issue going on in hollywood i think sometimes but in this particular movie i thought they did a bang up job in that area so that automatically gets at some points there uh the main actress as well did super good uh, super uh, well acted in this film. Uh, like the music and stuff fit the old school style. The way the story was told uh, really was reminiscent of the old uh, original Omen back in 1976. So I like that. And there is a lot of things to like about this movie. Now, if you're going to see a super scary movie, like if you're a huge horror fan, then, and that's all you care about, then this isn't, really for you it's more of like you know like the old school omen a little bit uh mixed in with a little bit of say like uh it, it gets to kind of feel and both of these movies were done in the 70s so it makes sense like the exorcist a little bit in there uh tied into that uh just uh long form storytelling where there's not a bunch of things that happen bang like there's something that happens at the beginning of the film that's pretty cool and i like to keep these light spoilers because i want you guys to go see the movies obviously so i'm not going to be telling you in great detail but like there is something at the very beginning of the movie that kind of gets you into it. You're like, OK, cool. This is going on. And then it has the story build up of like uh, the the main actress getting to uh, Rome and I guess learning how to be a, no, uh, a, a nun and everything else. And like that story was written pretty well, uh, but it, it, it does drag a little bit. Like if you're a person that has to have action, it didn't drag for me. But if you are like a person that needs things happening back to back to back to back. Uh, it could get boring for you, maybe not the, the the greatest. But with that being said, I thought they told a good story. And uh, there is some of the horror feel to it. it. Obviously, as we get closer and closer to the end, especially when we get to the birth of Damon, uh, that uh, is the story for the omen. And no, nah, I, I, I thought it was really done well. There is a little body horror, they would say, but I don't actually call it that. I've seen a lot of like publications out there saying, oh, this movie has body horror. And everything else in there but like i guess it could be a little bit of that but uh 
it's mainly the biggest thing would be like it's really uh the body horror just comes from a, a birthing scene and yeah it's a little like uh graphic there uh it's obviously got blood and everything else going to do they basically have to do a c-section because she's having like uh this demon child or whatnot and it happens to be like uh yeah uh, yeah but it's like a birthing scene really so like i don't even know if i'd call it uh body horror when it comes to that but i did appreciate this movie and the biggest thing that you're here to he hear is like because i went and seen this movie is it worth your time do you need to big screen it stream it or ditch it well i'm going to tell you this it's definitely not a ditch it is worthwhile for a movie even if you're not a huge horror fan uh to watch kind of like i said about late night with the devil in one of my previous reviews but this movie right here uh, it's right there uh borderline it's not gonna knock your socks off but like i said if you like the omen it's a uh, big screening like for real if you like the omen series you like the original movie go see this movie it's gonna make the original movie even better like i said because it respects the ip and, and all that stuff that was done before it so yeah if you like the omen series big screen it but if you're not a huge fan of the omen uh movies or you know, you're not the biggest horror fan, but you might give some horrors like a chance. This will be a streaming. But for me, I'm rating it as a big screen. It. If you got the time, you got the money. Go see this movie in the movie theaters. I thought it was done uh, really well uh, just across the board. There, there's not a lot of weak points to it. Like I said, I don't mind the story. I don't mind uh, this, uh, the way that they were able to take like from the very beginning of the movie to get to where all the, the you know, action and, and big points are going to happen in between there. I don't mind a little bit of a slow burn. Uh, just like I didn't mind a little bit of a slow burn in late night with the devil. Uh, this kind of is very similar to that, but with that being said, guys, until next time, peace.